Hey guys, this is the XRP Cowboy. We're going to space. I'm going to talk about the market crash. The biggest crash is coming for crypto. Hey, this is Billy. Don't listen to him. He said some whale's blood. He said like 10 blue mountains, Coors Lights, smoked two packs of cigarettes, and he's a little off. My dreamers, trust me when I say this. The cowboy will lie to you, and Billy's always going to tell you the truth. <laughs> Fuck you, Billy. We're going to get into this. They're trying to turn us into China. Some originals, so I don't get censored or my reach isn't cut off. This is about a girl. <laughs> That had a substance abuse problem. Tripping over beer cans. It's called drugged up bird. So you like to fly. You're gonna love my game. I'll take you way up high in the sky. Hi, baby, you'll be touching the sky because you. I like certain things about you. I hear you like to play with razor knives. Cut your leg, cut your leg when you're horny and shit. Nothing when you're chained in my bed. No, it don't mean nothing when you're chained in my bed. She sees shooting stars in comets' tails. She's got heaven in her eyes. She's everybody's satellite. And I wish she were mine. Well, I wish she were mine. So why'd you come home to this sleepless town? We'll redo this again tomorrow. They're trying to make us China. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist. We're not a communist country. We're the land of the free. But yet... We were locked down for years because of something that half the people had didn't even know they had it. That's how deadly it was. People died, yes. People die walking their doggy. People die from the flu. It's weird that no one had the flu. And they were all wearing masks, but everybody had the beer flu. That wasn't what it seems. Yes, it was real. And God bless you if you lost someone for any reason. Life is precious. Something we'll never have enough is time. Something we will never have enough of is time. My roadies, you understand? And we're trying to buy that time back with these time coins so we don't have to go to work and work with a fucking man. Most people would rather be sleeping than going to their job. 
And sleep is the cousin of death because you're not living. You're asleep. Like the sheep. But we have this inherited death from the day we were born. And we have to pay that before we get our freedom. In the world, the government, governments do everything they can to keep us from having that freedom. They charge us insurances, health insurance for family of five, 2000 a month. House insurance, 900 to 5000 a month. Car insurance, 1500 to 5000 a year. If you could invest just one of those. Jewelry insurance. Life insurance that you'll never see. Your family will, though. You have to have these things. If you could just invest one of those things, even just your car payment, because people are too stupid to when they pay a fucking car off to ride it till it dies or just to save money to pay cash. They'd rather, I deserve a new fucking car. I paid it off, so why don't we get in debt? Maybe we should pay more for a car. And I can get into math and all the things on how to buy a new car and why you should, but this isn't about this. It's about control. We wouldn't have to work till we were fucking dead. I was 65. How great is your life after that? And if you're 65 watching this channel, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You're patting me on the back and saying you're right. I hate this shit. You might be healthy and you might live to be 100. You probably will with technology, but you, you've, you've got such a small portion of your life left, your freedom. You know, we want to live like we were kids. Running the streets in the summer with our friends. And the summers lasted forever. That's the life I want. It's the life I want for my wife. So she doesn't have to work 15 hour fucking days. It's the life I want for my kids. I want them to do a job they fucking love. So they never feel like they're working. I don't want them to be deadbeats. And you know what? If they do it for charity, I want to take care of them. But they will be working, but they will be doing something productive. I just want it to be something they love. And unfortunately, so many people in this country, they do what pays the most. Pay the cost to be the fucking boss. Do you want that for your beautiful kid or your wife or your husband who stresses, you know, every night? It's up till four in the morning drinking beers just so he can have enough energy to keep going. And then he's sleeps four hours and then he's fucking dragging for an hour and a half, but he needs to do it because the man does not sleep. Money doesn't sleep. It doesn't matter when COVID happened. My rent and utility bill still came in for my businesses and my home. They didn't just pause it, you know? Well, it was paused, but they wanted the money. Pay the cost to be the boss. The greatest lie the devil's ever told was convincing the world he didn't exist. My roadies. You want to listen to fucking Billy? You want to listen to that fucking bitch who's watching CNBC picking his stocks from what Jim fucking Kramer's saying? Is that what, is that what you fucking want? It's like playing blackjack and following the table rules and everybody's pissed at you for winning because you're breaking them. You know, you have to follow the fucking rules because if you follow the rules, everybody fucking loses, okay? It's trained behavior. It's sheep. It's herd mentality. I play table odds. And I win. Billy is going to tell me you're wrong because all these other people are fucking hurting you and wanting to kill you. But the cowboy's going to say, you play high stake poker? You know, you play just blackjack. He's going to tell you when you pay, play a fucking thousand dollars a hand, everybody at that table knows to play your own fucking hand. Okay. And if, if they give you some shit, they're a fucking amateur. Okay. You're talking to the fucking guy that fucking, I don't remember. It was like back around 2003 or four who won four satellite tournaments of 24 people to get to the final table. I think it was like 20,000 people on full tilt. And I'm not so certain it wasn't fixed like 
the film you thing with God vision or whatever the fucking they called it. Because I made it to the final fucking four. And I was chip leader. All I had to do was sit on my ass. There was one guy that was close to me. And he had the worst fucking hand in the world. And he kept betting against me. I'm like, I wanted to say, what the fuck are you doing, asshole? And then, like, magic. A hand he shouldn't have played. And when you get to that point, when you're playing thousands of people and you want all those tournaments, you know how to play the game. And you don't play hands against the chip leader that are that fucking dumb. And he hit the river like he could see the card. Like he could see all the fucking cards. I got hustled. Took second. Settled for like $3,800 when I had a ride to the fucking big show. World Series of Poker. It was a fucking fix, okay? Just saying, I understand fucking people. I've cut hair for fucking 30 years, and all we do is read people. When we spin the chair and you look at the mirror, we're reading your face. And, we, and, and if you're, you, you understand when someone's fucking happy or when they're not, which is a lie. You see lies, okay? And it, that's when we say, what's going on? What's wrong? You know, how do you feel? We read people. Hairdressers read people. You can't lie to us. We see through your lies like you're a fucking three-year-old fucking kid, okay? <laughs> you know, every, I've been, had things taken from me my whole fucking life, guys. And Billy's going to say, Cowboy, you've never had shit taken from you. It was all taken from me. So the cowboy was born. Cowboy doesn't fucking... Any problem I got, I just put my fucking fist into it, Billy. And I don't give up. I believe in principles, ethics. I believe in balancing the fucking universe. If you, take, if you fucking come after me and I feel it's unjust, I would rather spend my life proving you fucking balancing your wrong at any cost. I'm not taking no settlement. Are you kidding me? I'm going to find a way to neutralize things and make sure the hands of justice are balanced, whatever it takes. It takes everything I got. Point is, is they're trying to turn us into China. The greatest lie the devil ever told was convincing the world he never exists. You got to understand, if we break the country down to its basic, purest essentials, purest st structure maybe, purest being, I can't find the word, Billy. Well, you're talking about economics, cowboy. From an economical perspective, the country is a business, and that's what you're trying to imply. And it's multiple business. Hence your theory that Trump lost on purpose because he, it, by design, he was born to run again, which he shouldn't win. But if he does, it implies it was all, it was all set up and fixed in by design. That's your implication, Billy, that I totally don't agree with because he needed to be here for the financial reset for 2025. Um, you, you say the guy runs over 500 companies and he's a successful businessman in the world's a business. I would argue that's not true. His following is deplenished and you would argue it hasn't. But the truth is, Bill, Billy will tell you. Billy will fucking tell you. The truth is. Billy's going to say if he wins, it's all by design. Well, you know what the fucking cowboy thinks? It was all planned. The cowboy will tell you the Democratic Party and the Republican Party were only designed to make us feel we have a, a fucking decision. But it's all planned. They fight across the aisles and they fight in the aisles amongst themselves. Trump is a libertarian. He was a Democrat that ran Republican, Billy. He couldn't be bought. The NSA seeked him out to run and he didn't want to. But they wanted to go against the man. The deep state. And that opposed a problem. But Billy's a sheep. Point is, is what they're trying to do is take away our freedoms. The truth is, if you run a business and you can, if you could run by, by order, you know, not by, like, um, 
a humane perspective. I'm telling you to do this, and if you fucking don't, you're fired. The way they did it in the 80s. The business, and because I can put someone else in your position like that, it's much easier, the leadership. But if you care about the people's feelings and their human rights, which we both do, the cowboy and Billy, it's much more difficult. China doesn't have to answer to motherfucking no one. No motherfucker in the U.S. wants to do that. We're talking about blockchain and carbon credits. You know, what is that? You know, I was just watching someone on YouTube. And I, this, listen, I, you know, I knew this from fucking the beginning, okay? I've got videos about this, but it refreshed my memory. They just want to track everything you're doing, where you're going, what you're doing, just like fucking China. Hence why I'm invested in VeChain. You know, I'm not invested in things I love. I'm not in love with the banks, XRP and Ripple. I'm in love with the idea of getting my freedom back because I'm making a shit ton of fucking money. I don't think fucking... The whales don't want to see a swimmer any better than Brad Garlinghouse. In fact, I would say he is the fucking crib keeper. But I don't give a fuck. I can't beat them, so I'm going to gain from them. That's the fucking truth, okay? I fucking hate the banks, so I learned how to use them. And this is part of it. If they want to use us, I'm going to use them for my fucking time. So I don't have to fucking sleep, which is the cousin of death. I fucking don't have to go to work, because I'd rather be sleeping. My kids will have a future. It's impossible to fail. I work 106 hours a week so they won't have to have the burden that I bear on my fucking back and it's not getting any younger. I just wish I could, my voice was loud enough so people could hear me. But I'm telling you, they don't hear me. No one fucking hears me. They think I'm nuts. And all I'm doing is trying to help. And then you've got the, uh, now they're talking about the vaccine and using blockchain to track people that are vaccinated. So for the next pandemic, we don't have to close down society. The people that are vaccinated will be able to go about and do what they want. But the people that aren't, and this is based on a fucking flu that most people didn't even know they had. Are you fucking kidding me? It's an all in a narrative. The question we should ask is, did they wait for it or did they put it upon us? And it's kind of weird. It's kind of strange that the timing of all this, the pandemic, the fucking war, supply chain. Supply chain is the biggest fucking joke. Fuel, gas going up like 60%, 40%. I didn't do the math, but isn't it? Like when we have a, 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 a oversupply supposed to go down and we didn't drive for two years, yet it was going up. How was that possible? Gas should be at an all-time low. And you can't blame the war because they went, gas prices were going up way before that, before we got involved in it anyways. That war was going on for a while, guys. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? devil's greatest lie was convincing the world he didn't exist. And they're trying to turn us into a fucking communist country because last time I checked, we, we lost our freedoms a while ago. We've got this beautiful young generation that is calling all the fucking shots. Things that are fucking ridiculous. I'll tell you what, when I fucked up as a child, I didn't get a trophy. And if I fucked up bad, I got an ass kicking. And you know what? I know I deserved it. I wasn't abused. People will say I was. But my dad taught me shit. And you notice I've been wearing a Marine Corps hat lately with a Stroh's Brewery pin. That was my dad's. And it's the holidays, so I'm wearing it through the holidays. You guys, some fucked up shit happening. I'm going to end this video. I really wanted to make one about how to invest successful, successfully for Dill Funk. Um, he's a great investor. 
he knows he's got a head on his shoulders and I'm I think I'm gonna let Billy do that maybe Cowboy will make one too in the stock market though <laughs> little different twist I don't like talking about stock we'll talk about that too but my dream is please like and subscribe and as jungle said the future will be televised right here love you jungle inc